guys, Blocks1000 here, and welcome back to some more Kirby's Epic Yarn. In the last episode, we stormed Castle DDD, and now we've unlocked the final boss against our nefarious villain, Yin Yarn. We are going to take him on. That's right, get ready to see the most epic battle in history. Let's get started, shall we? I'm so excited. This battle is so epic. It's an epic, climactic final battle, and it just it just gets me pumped every single time. And there he is himself, the villain, Yin Yarn, the one who has caused so much. What is he doing? <laughs> oh, geez, you remember this guy, right? Yep, Fangora. He is gonna basically summon every single boss in the game, which I know sounds insane. But once you actually see it, it's not that bad. Okay, so right here, uh, let's, he's gonna have the same attacks as Fangora did back when we fought him, of course. And then you're gonna wanna pull this, and there, he's already dead. See, you don't actually have to fight every single one of them. You just have to fight each one, like, and hit them once, I guess. And now Yin Yarn right here is going to do this. A flurry of attacks with scissors! Jeez, that was actually a pretty intense attack, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, more scissor attacks. Oh jeez, jump! Jump! Okay, I'm not gonna lie, Yin Yarn is a really, really good villain. And that's not just because he looks awesome, but because he is awesome. I mean, like, he's one of the best and most unique Kirby villains ever. Um, but anyways, right here, you're just gonna wanna dodge everything. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, okay, listen to this song for a second, it's an awesome final boss theme. Isn't that thing just amazing? I know, I can't believe this final boss theme either. Okay, right here. You're gonna wanna throw it at this guy, uh, whatever his name is, I can't really remember his name, it's the Gooper Blooper ripoff. Alright, he's dead too. <laughs> yep, that is nice, that is nice indeed. Okay, now he's gonna do this attack again. <laughs> I don't like dodging this attack. Okay, jump, jump, jump. Oh jeez, I got hit, I got hit, come on. Grab all the beads, grab all the beads, I tell ya, grab them all! Okay, good, we got them. Okay, jump, 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 oh jeez, oh jeez, okay, grab them all, grab them all. Oh god, we're losing a lot of beads. We are actually losing a ton of beads. Okay, what we're gonna want to do now is grab one of these spike guys. Oh jeez, oh no, 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 okay. Uh, we're gonna wanna grab one of these spike- Oh, jeez, I'm getting hit a lot. Okay, we're gonna wanna grab one of these spike guys, and then we're gonna want to throw it at him. Yes! Like that! And then do this! Aha! He's getting torn apart, actually. Legitimately- Oh god, now he's tearing us apart. <laughs> okay. Oh jeez, why did I do that? I fell into the pit. <laughs> okay, grab this again. Oh god, no, 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 no. Grab- I hate these enemies! All that they do is just take my beads away. Okay. Oh, god, no, no, okay. Here we go, grab the snowman, and now we're gonna wanna throw it at him, like so, and then do this! Aha! And he's dead! That's awesome, that was a pretty easy final boss, don't you think? Or is it? <laughs> if you didn't think this fight could get any more awesome, you were so wrong, my friends! Basically, this is just gonna be an all-out missile fight to the death. And it is awesome! Okay, just basically, just avoid everything, don't get hit by anything, shoot him with everything you've got, you'll be totally fine. <laughs> uh, but it is pretty hard to dodge his attacks after a while. But, once that's done, then things get a little bit more intense, believe it or not. They get more intense. He's gonna stand up on these stilts, basically. And, oh god, he's gonna spin around like crazy. And this happens. 
Oh my god, that is way too many rockets. It's just gonna happen over and over again. Just shoot it with everything you've got. This is just giving it your all. <laughs> okay. This is just amazing. I love this final boss so much. It's more climactic than King DDD could ever be. Okay, let's keep shooting him. Come on, he's almost dead. Let's do this for everything he's done to Dreamland. He has literally taken our home away, turned it into yarn, trapped us in Patchland, ripped Patchland apart, meaning that we had to put it back together in order to get back here in the first place. And there we go. I didn't even get time to finish that dialogue. Because he's dead. Alright, here we go, guys. Now that is the true ending to that final boss. Alright, guys. Take it away, Kirby and Prince Fluff. That's right, everybody knows Yarn is evil. With Yin Yarn's spell broken, Dreamland returned to its normal state of peace and quiet. Well, I guess this is goodbye, Fluff said. It made Kirby sad to see his new friend leave. Buck up, Kirby. As long as you have this magic sock, you can visit me any time. Until then, Fluff said as he returned to Patchland. And that's the story of how Kirby and Prince Fluff defeated Yin Yarn the Sorcerer and restored peace to Dreamland. And that's the end. That was a great journey. <laughs> I love this game so much. This game is this game is real nice, I tell you. <laughs> There's one Kirby at the beginning of the game when he did that thing with the with the metamato. Anyways, while this let's play may not have been quite as professional, of course I missed a lot of upload schedules, maybe the editing could have been a bit better. I definitely think that it was a fun ride, and I liked it. <laughs> Um, and I'm sure that it was, I, I, I hope you guys liked it, because, um, yeah, I, I don't really know what you guys thought of it. But, um, yeah, I really, really liked it. <laughs> uh, it was, a uh, it was definitely one of the most fun games I've Let's Played to date. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was a nice shift in pace. I mean, I've been playing a lot of games like Super Mario Sunshine. Super Mario Sunshine was a heck of a ride. This one... It was just, it was more mellow, and more laid back, and I enjoyed playing it. <laughs> and there's King DDD. I, uh, I like this song. It's, it's a nice way to end the game, honestly. It's like, a uh, really, really, things, it reminds me of all the good times that you had in this game. But it also, like, it gives you the feeling of, like, victory, we just did it. <laughs> yep, 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 I like that. Anyways, um... I, I'm not going to in the next Let's Play. Uh, how can I say this to you guys? If you've watched my old Let's Plays before, then you'll probably have a good idea of what it's going to be. Because we are going to be going to a very, very familiar land. A land that you'll know very, very well by now. And we're going to be going on a whole different adventure in this land. That's all I'm going to tell you about it. <laughs> yep, I'm excited for that Let's Play. Because I've been planning it for months at this point. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so, I'd like to do some special thanks. I'd like to thank all you guys for viewing it, of course. I wanted to thank my friend Beck for, uh... <laughs> he helped me create the, um, the, uh, channel art. Well, tech. Oh, there's Saturi Wada. Rest in peace, Saturi Wada. Yeah, I'd just like to thank everybody. I'd like to thank everybody. I'd li like, I, I wanted to thank... Enzo for getting me into Kirby. Everybody out there. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this Let's Play, guys. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye!
The next day, Kirby fell asleep in some shade. He dozed happily with wonderful dreams and held the reminder of a dear friend, even though it smelled a bit.